This is um, a test one or the real thing? Not the real thing. Oh. Eh. <laughs> Okie dokie. You haven't actually been on my channel in ages. It has been about, I think the whisper challenge. I'd say like February-ish. <laughs> Click on this card if you haven't seen that video yet. The plan today is that we're gonna do like a personality test. Our friend Brona sent me a link to one called 16 personalities. So as you can see, we have a split screen. So I'm gonna be on the left because I'm sitting on the left and Natalie's gonna be on the right because she's sitting on the right. The personality, fuck. <laughs> They're gonna see you flipping through oh, all these. Oh shit, <laughs> Says the purpose of the Myers Briggs type indicator, which is the name of the quiz we're doing, right? <laughs> is to make the theory of psychological types described. <laughs> what? Um, I think it just tells you like what type of person you are. <laughs> yeah, basically, like if you're introverted or extroverted. If extroverted. You're extroverted. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Extroverted. <laughs> this is off to a great start. I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> First section, you find out, are you outwardly or inwardly focused? How do you prefer to take information if you're more sensing or intuition? Okay. Third part is, how do you prefer to make decisions? Are you more thinking or feeling? Section four is, how do you prefer to live the out your outer world life? <laughs> I can't read. How do you prefer to live your outer life? Is it more judging or more perceiving? I've also got my booties on. There we go now. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> the booties booties on. Out. <laughs> you enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. <laughs> I think I'd probably be like one degree. I don't like being around like loads of people like a lot. Mm. So I'd say like one out of three agree. That makes sense? Mm. Yeah. I might do that one. One. I'm trying to think. I'm between two on this. I suppose I should go with my gut. So on, the, on a scale of one to three, how much do you enjoy vibrant social Well, events? see, it depends because like say if it's just like... <laughs> My memory card comes up full. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> you know what? Let's go in the middle. Let's just go two. Okay. God, it's going to be a long That's ass video. That's only question one. My personality is overthinker. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. Unrealistic, like as if like winning the lotto, that kind of thing. Like being famous and At stuff. At first I thought it was like worrying about stuff, like exploring unrealistic, but I don't know, yet yeah, intriguing Intriguing, ideas. is that like... I don't understand. Going to buy a Lamborghini type thing. Oh, maybe, yeah, like, like me buying a Range Rover kind of thing. I'd say I'm the small agree on that. Oh, I only think about that kind of stuff when I do the lot, and I don't do the lot that often. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be the same. It's like show me the exact same because there's no need for a split <laughs> time at all. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. Itinerary. How did I say it? Itinerary, but there's no, it's not I-N, it's I-T. Oh, I feel like they'd start off like a rough list, but then I like to kind of have a bit of a structure. Mine is definitely going to be disagree, because I like to get the most out of an area while I'm in it. I like, I like to know a, as much as I can about the area before I'm there, rather than figure out while I'm there. Like, I'm definitely up for like exploring days and stuff like that, but I would like to have structure, so I'm not just kind of figuring things out as I go, and then find something after I leave, and then yeah. it's all disappointment. I'd like to know top three things I want to do while I'm here, and then grand so Try and fit as much in as possible yeah so i'd probably go with the the second last one there the disagree middle disagree yeah i don't really like to wing holidays either i like to have at least one thing planned every day you often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place okay first of all agree <laughs> yeah i think i'm gonna go all the way agree i'd go like middle agree if your friend is sad about something your first instinct is to support them emotionally not try to solve their problem <laughs> I think I'd be fully agree at that. Or in the middle, maybe. See, I know that... <sighs> Wait, so if your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally. I always try and solve problems as the only thing. I'm trying to think of... I'm way more aware of how people are feeling in situations. I try and comfort them and, and then when they're kind of like feeling a bit better, I'm like, okay, let's figure this out. If Neva or someone else rang you right now and she was sad, like, what's the first thing you do or say or something? Listen. I just listen to... Oh, that would probably be, like, supporting them emotionally. Right, okay, go agree then. Agree. Very much agree. Yeah, the big agree. That was a, that's a good one, though. That made me think. Big agree. Yeah. People can rarely upset you. I'm going baby agree. Little small... Or, or sorry, baby disagree. Little, little baby one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a pretty sensitive person. Yeah, I, I don't usually let most things get to me, but... 
if I in any way care about a person or respect them or whatever, even things where like they don't intentionally mean to hurt me, sometimes I'm, I'm, they just hurt me. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm very sensitive to words. I think because we're both water signs. Like you're Cancer, I'm Scorpio. I think that's why we get on so well. I really don't know anything about horoscopes, to be honest. Water signs are very like passionate, emotional, <laughs> and like, I don't know, that's why we're like water, because like water like runs deep. Oh my God. What? That's so weird that you said that that's why we like water, because if I can't sleep, I literally have to go onto YouTube and put in, I have this video that I always watch of rain. rain. The rain makes me go sleep. Yeah, I Is that me being a water sign or is that just me liking rain? Or both? Yeah, both. both. Mm. Who knows? Well, we, should, we should do another video on like horoscopes and our zodiac signs. We should read our characteristics and say if it's true or not. <laughs> Comment down below if we should do that video in future. Oh god. So the zodiac, because I find it freaking fascinating. Okay, people can really upset you. Mm, disagree. <laughs> I'm gonna go big do you. Big, big do you agree, I was gonna say. Big do you agree. Big do you agree. And that was only section one. Oh my god, are we talking too much through this? Should we just be zooming through this a bit more? You often rely on other people to be the ones to start a conversation and keep it going. To start a conversation and keep it going? That's a lot of responsibility to put on one person if you're also in the conversation. I like when it's back and forth. I don't like being the only person talking in a conversation. I go um, middle disagree because keeping it going usually isn't a problem for me. But starting a conversation sometimes, I sometimes don't know where to go. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is your top priority to get back on on track as soon as possible. Yeah. That's very vague. This is kind of like Corona. Coronavirus. <laughs> Coronavirus. 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 If you really worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. You give yeah. me a big old agree. Biggest one going. Ooh. Love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd go middle agree. Because sometimes in the back of my head I'm like, I hope they like me. But then I'm kind of like, as I get older, I'm just kind of like, this is me. Yeah, that's fair. This is, oh no, I shouldn't actually sing. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend by yourself without feeling bored. Uh, big ol' fat disagree from me. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's all Corona has been. <laughs> no, I would be big agree. Big yeah. agree? Yeah. You'd feel bored. Yeah, like there's only so much Netflix or reading or whatever the hell I'm doing. There's only so much of that that I can do before I need to have some type of conversation with someone. You're more of a detail orientated person than a big picture person. I think I get hung up on details more. Say there's 10 steps to a plan or whatever. I'll be hung up on step one. Without even realizing what else is going on. I'd go strong agree on that, the biggest agree on that one. Maybe I'll go small agree. We're only 18% true with this. What? Yeah, look. You are very affectionate with people you care about. Oh, that's a big fat agree. Big fat agree for me. Oh, yay. We need more questions like this where we just keep it going. You have a careful and methodical approach to life. I have no idea what the fuck. Does I'm that mean doing. like you're not like a. Why not curse? Yeah. Does that mean like you're you're not like a adrenaline junkie? You don't like to take risks? Am I slouching too I much? thought it meant that like you, like you have a method to what you're doing, like you have a plan. Oh, let me Google what's Oh, I don't have a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Phoebe's like, I don't even have oh, a plan. Oh, we don't know her. I don't even have a plan. Methodical. What does that mean? Done according to a systematic or established procedure. Oh wait, here's other things. Orderly, well-ordered, well-organized. Oh, bitch. Okay. I'm gonna go with middle disagree. Yeah, I just to be kind of winging it since 94. I mean, I've got a plan for about the next week, and then after that, I don't know. Okay, big fat disagree from me. You are still bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. Bothered? Um, no. Like, there's obviously so certain moments where I look back and cringe, and I feel like, you know, that kind of secondhand embarrassment, that kind of thing? You're, but yeah, you're like, not bothered was by that it. actually me and that body back then? I'd go strong disagree. Oh, really? Yeah. Love that. Disagree. Or am I? I don't know. <laughs> 12 hours later. <laughs> You're so bored, man. I know, get you thinking like, I don't know. <laughs> Stop asking me questions. <laughs> okay, big disagree, not arsed. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found farther away from the action at the food table. <laughs> For like pub or, or club or whatever, I, I kind of like to split my time between like dance floor and just like chilling with a drink and whoever I'm yeah. with. So disagree. I go with the smallest degree. Oh, oh yeah, that actually makes sense. I think I'm going to miss that degree. I don't know. I'm overthinking this. It depends how drunk I am. <laughs> when I get drunk, I just throw it into the middle of the dance floor and I'm like, boom, I start slut dropping, like embarrassing myself. Remember I was, I was dancing in the nightclub on Chloe's yeah. thing? Like after a while, I'm just like, 
I give you grand. Okay, you often find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. No, strong disagree straight away. I completely understand yeah. that for anyone. I think I'll be the same. Oh, I already know my answer to the next one. When as well. looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the catalogue. Big fat agree. I spend more time on Netflix trying to figure out what to watch than actually watching something. You know, I hate when I finish a show because I'm like, I've oh shit, now I have to go find something else. Yeah. I don't want to do that. No. Yeah, big fat agree for me. Big fat agree. Big fat agree. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Sorry. I can stay calm under a lot of pressure. <laughs> I was gonna laugh and say absolutely not, but actually in jobs I've had and stuff, when I feel under pressure, I usually don't have a choice, but just bloody get on with it and knuckle down and make the reason for the pressure go away, i.e. customers. <laughs> um, I usually have a panic attack and then quit. <laughs> No, I'm just gonna go big fat and no, I disagree. A middle agree. When in a group of people that you do not know, you have no problem jumping right into their conversation. Into their conversation? <laughs> oh my god. I'm not jumping into anyone's conversation. That is so fucking rude. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, we don't know you. I find that awkward. Eh? I would find that very awkward to jump into a conversation, not only with people I don't know, but conversation I don't oh, even yeah. really know what's happening. Give me a big fat disagree. <laughs> when you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and, and fantastical. <laughs> Is fantastical a word? I'd go a little small baby agree. I think I'd like a little bit disagree. In your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life. Fuck that. Holy Give shit. me a big fat disagree. Yeah, that is not okay. If you have to get ahead by pulling someone else down, that is the worst thing yeah, ever. Yeah, literally. That's disgusting. You don't have to do that. There's room for everybody at the top, people. So move over. <laughs> get the seats warm for us. <laughs> Would that get along quick? <laughs> so much for answering. Exactly. Literally. We're on a minute question here. <laughs> this is a hundred questions. Good luck editing this. We're on a mission from saying. God. It's gonna be like... Shit, it's already half an hour. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. Oh, give me, give me a disagree. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I say I like a good bit get sidetracked. Yeah, give me a middle disagree. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your abilities or your knowledge. Okay, I think I'd little Give me bit. a baby agree. Oh, me too. Imagine we're the exact same personality trait. I wouldn't be surprised to be fair. <laughs> When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. I think I middle agree. Like if I know people there, I would definitely tend to flock to them more than <laughs> yeah, flock. Like jumping into some new <laughs> Remember that video person. of all the flamingos going to the bathroom and it was no. like girls going to the bathroom together and it was a whole flock of flamingos just scooting around across the screen and um, <laughs> flock to them. Give me a middle agree. Twins. You usually lose interest in a discussion when it gets philosophical. philosophical. Middle disagree. I like stuff like that. I like What's thinking. philosophical? Like philosophy and like... Why are we all here? Why are we here? What are we doing? It's the universe. No, I love all that shit. You would never let yourself cry in front of others. I'd well, be baby agree. Or would I be middle agree? I'd be middle agree. Give me baby agree. I've got my gut. Oh wait, agree? I did... Disagree. You would never let yourself. Like, Could you imagine if you were taking the wrong oh side God, this whole time? I just get the opposite of my personality. <laughs> it's like you are a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> likes to be extrovert and go to parties. Right. So. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than to more quiet and intimate ones. Baby agree. Well, mm, middle agree. Because <laughs> <laughs> see, if you're thinking about like cities and places to visit, I'm going to be thinking more like busy and bustling. But if you're thinking like restaurants, like going to pubs, Nathan. cafes, I don't want to be around. People. I want quiet and intimate. But I don't want it to be like dead quiet either. Yeah, because then people might like attack you. I'm happy with my baby agree. Yeah, I'll go baby agree too. People would attack you. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> I don't no, like this is why she doesn't leave from the house. Like, if I'm going, like if I'm, like if I'm walking down the main street somewhere and there's only like one other person out, I'm gonna be like, don't come near me. It's creepy when there's only one other people around. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world could look like in the future. Between climate change and coronavirus, I don't even know if there's much of a future to even discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't mean, that honestly. the truth? What um, is the future? We're still basically in a pandemic. Like, coronavirus hasn't gone anywhere, people. Still wear your mask, still wash your hands, still obey the rules. Don't make unnecessary journeys. Don't take risks on treacherous roads. And don't swim in the sea. When it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. Oh, strongest disagree in my life. And I wish I wasn't that way, but I am. I think I follow my heart. Like, I go more on feelings and stuff. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your life to the study of something that you cannot see to your experience. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like so like, science. But you can experience science. I was thinking religion, but you can experience religion. See, touch your, what are you studying? Air. Like, 
But we're touching air all the time. The solar system? Planets? But isn't living experience in the solar system? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say agree because I don't know what it means. Or should we go neutral? I'm just going to go neutral. I don't know what that question means. If anyone knows what that means, comment below. You usually prefer to get your revenge rather than forgive. Oh, revenge is not even fucking worth the energy. Give me like, I mean, I'm not completely opposed. Give me a middle disagree. <laughs> you often make decisions on a whim. No. The time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than the time you spend with other people. Strong disagree. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning of the message of a song or a movie. Oh, yeah, I like doing that. More so songs rather than movies. I'd go uh, middle agree. I don't know why, I just kind of like looking into it a bit more and maybe thinking what the artist was thinking or the songwriter was thinking while they were writing it. Oh, little agree. You always know exactly what you want. <laughs> That sounds nice, what's that like? You really think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. I don't usually give in to the temptation of like, what if this happened? Or maybe it'd be a little agree, would it? Maybe bigger agree? Unless of course something goes wrong, then obviously I'm gonna be thinking back as to like what I could have done differently. I'd go to middle agree. That's f nearly 15 minutes in. Good luck narrowing this down oh, to this a gonna be another freaking 20 minute fucking video. Editing for like months. Go when in a public yeah. place, you usually stick to quieter and less crowded areas. I'd what go middle think? agree. Middle agree. You tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. Big agree, big, big, big agree. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Middle disagree. I'm really understanding when it comes to feelings. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. Definitely would try and get as much of the planet out of the way as I could. Yeah, maybe like middle, That's what that means. middle agree. I'd be the same, yeah. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it will be until they become disappointed in you. I think big would disagree. I'd definitely be disagree. Like how much of an asshole are you that you're just waiting for them to become disappointed in you? <laughs> yeah. You feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Absolutely not. Complete disagree. Unless I've had a few vodkas, in which case, hi, nice to meet you. I'm like, hey, your but shoes are cool, bye. No. You often drift away into daydreaming about various ideas or scenarios. Yeah, middle agree. I got big agree. You look after yourself first and others come in second. Middle agree. I've gotten better at it, but I'm still not completely there. I'm trying to get better at putting myself first. Even when you've planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you feel like at any given moment. No, if I've got a planned day, I'm gonna stick by that with like little give, because surely it's planned particularly for a reason. But would that be different in the sense that like, just say you give yourself like a daily plan, like just like if you're like working from home or like you're trying to get your workout routine back on track. See, the way they use the word particular makes me think it's a bit more of a special day. True. I don't know. Depends on what you take it up, I suppose. I'd go middle, disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. Yeah. I mean, not really like on its own. It's usually like if something happens or I read something or someone says something to me. I'd go with the big agree. You often contemplate the reasons for human existence or the meaning of life. Yeah, yeah, I do. I love thinking about all that shit. Middle agree for me. Gets me thinking. You often talk about your own feelings and emotions. Oh, this is something I don't do, but I have got better at it. I go with small agree. You've got detailed. Uh, you've got detailed. You've got. Yeah. <laughs> detailed education or career development plans stretching several years into the future. Um, middle disagree. No, no, several years. No, big fat disagree for me. You really dwell on your regrets. Yeah, true. I don't really think about my regrets that often. I go big agree. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and the need, the need of a getaway. I do get drained from being around people and I have to like recharge on my own. I go middle disagree. You see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. What's a visionary? I think I'd agree with that. Thinking about or planning the future with imagination or wisdom. Inspired, imaginative, creative. Wait, say it again. How do I know which one? It's... You I see yourself as more of a realist. realist. Yeah, I'd go at middle agree. You find it easy to empathise with a person who has gone through something you never have. Yeah. I mean, obviously I can't understand everything, but yeah, I'd go at middle agree. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than to organised and consistent efforts. Oh, I'm definitely more con spontaneous bursts of energy. That's when I do my good editing. I'd go middle disagree. No, we're getting somewhere. Your emotions control you more than you control them. Oh Christ, this oh, is not shit. the question I need right now. This is making me think and I feel like I'm shutting down. A little bit. 
I go baby agree. After a long and exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. The strongest disagree you could possibly have. <laughs> I need a bottle of wine on my bed. You frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life. Strong disagree. I don't want really to give myself much thought to much trying to think about anything like that. I mean like new features and robots and shit. I guess so. Why? You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. Strong agree. Definitely. Yeah, you have to. You can't just be an asshole. <laughs> you still honour the commitments you have made even if you have a change of heart. Yeah, right? Yeah, because that's kind of like just following, following through with things. Well, like if you have a change of heart, surely there's a reason behind that. Maybe baby agree? Is that like agreeing to go on a night out even if you don't want to anymore? That kind of thing? Maybe. You really feel insecure. Middle disagree. You really feel it. So I disagree with that. You middle disagree? Yeah, I'm quite insecure. Same. <gasps> Results? Oh my god, I didn't think this moment would come. Oh my god, we're both adventurers. Except we're a little bit different. We're both ISFPs. But you're I'm an, an A, a and, and I'm you're, you're a T. T. I am 51% oh. introverted. I'm 69% introverted. So I'm just teetering on the edge of introvert extrovert. We're both more observant than we are intuitive. intuitive. Oh, that's a good thing. What's prospecting? We're both more prospecting than judging. Likelihood, there is a little prospect of success. Likelihood, hope, expectation, anticipation, or likelihood of some future. Okay. So likelihood. I kind of don't understand that one in that context. If anyone else can explain that in a comment, that'd be great. Identity. This trait underpins all others, showing how confident we are in our abilities and decisions. This is the only one where I've got the majority on the left-hand side. Oh, we're completely opposite in this one, whatever this is. Yeah. This must be the confidence one, was it? So do the look-up thing. Oh, that's the, the whipper. He must be whipping up uh, carrots and parsnips together. Having her showing a confident and forceful personality, the job may call for assertive behaviours. Like she's they, asserting she herself. Me. Oh yeah, like confident, forceful, self-confident, positive. Yes. <laughs> Wait, so what the fuck am I? Turbulence? <laughs> That's like turbulence, like air turbulence. <laughs> when it gets all like fucking... <laughs> Characterised by conflict, disorder, blah, blah, blah. Stormy, unstable, unsettled, something, something explosive, full of upheavals, evils, <laughs> whatever that is. Hey guys, my camera just cut out when we were reading the results, so I don't actually know where that cut out. Oh my god, he pops up like, who are you talking to? Our strengths and weaknesses. 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 Oh wait, click on what's the difference. I didn't know that was a thing. A oh, sort of adventurer or a turbulent <laughs> adventurer. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> If we can all see these adventurous eyes, we see her being this Roman angle. <laughs> Terminant adventure. A lion or a house cat. Fifty-nine percent of assertive adventurers say they would rather be a lion in the wild than a house cat. Compared to twenty-three percent of terminal adventurers, it just seems like a more dominant personality type, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Assertive adventurers look nearly like ext extroverts in their robust expressions. <laughs> <laughs> a robust expression. <laughs> they tend to roar when compared to their terminal counterparts. <laughs> oh yeah, look. House cats are not the opposite of lions. They are more. They are more their cautious cousins. So you're a more cautious person. Sixty-four percent of the servers feel they are effectively managed. Oh, they effectively manage stress. It's stress. stress. <laughs> Compared to twenty-four percent of their adventures. I think it's just the word turbulence is really bad. <laughs> yeah, I, I should make turbulent merch. I'm like turbulent. <laughs> Sixty-seven percent of turbulent adventurers say their responsibilities often overwhel often overwhelm them. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> Artistic. Love that. And weaknesses. Firstly, independent. Unpredictable. That can be fun sometimes. I don't agree with some of that. But I Easily don't. stressed. Very true. Overly competitive. No. 
fluctuating self-esteem. True. How do I get back to my... Just at the back button. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. So basically you were white and we are the exact same personality type. Yay! We're basically the exact same except Natalie's just a bit more confident and more self-esteem than me. Probably because you're older. Yeah, fair. That's probably true. We're we both adventurers. Both adventurers. Yeah, adventurers. Let's the go around just... again. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, she did say it though. Cut to Leanne at the beginning of the, of the thing. Imagine we're both the same. Imagine we're the exact same personality trait. I wouldn't be surprised to be fair. <laughs> we're literally oh, yeah. both the same. Amazing. That took so much longer than I thought it would take. Because this video is already so long. We're just going to wrap up here. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Comment your favourite bit down in the comments or what your personality thing is. And we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. And if you're feeling generous, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and comment and share it with your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Toodles. Bye. Thumbnail. <laughs> Wait, get the apple so they know it's a fucking mask. <laughs> Bitch, you pay for this. <laughs> Maybe I'll do shots. Like, I can't stop laughing now, I'm getting giddy. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we don't do the laptop. <gasps> Wait, can we do that? Go three, two, one, then we both go. And then I'll just take a screenshot of that. We should both go. Like the screen picture. We both go. And then I'll be like, sociopath. <laughs> we're just screaming for sociopaths. <laughs> That's gas. Still scream icon in the corner. Should I do that? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so will we do this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Ooh. <laughs> it's like home alone. Kevin! Sounds like a snake! <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> I just knew it was Come going. On. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> scared me. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, right, we're doing his face and get this over with then. Three, two, one. Perfect! <laughs>